All right, so let's take a look at the help menu. Now, if you're watching this video, then I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you're probably a visual person and not the kind of person who really wants to hear, you know, go read the help file. And I totally understand. I'm often the same way. Though, if you're so inclined, we have online help, which is going to take you to the UDN page about UDK. And so here it is. You can search for anything you might happen to be looking for. It's a great resource, so be sure to check that out. You can also just ask in the forums and see if there's anybody else out there who can help you with a problem. Now, if you go down from here, you have setting up Swarm, which is such an important topic that it has its own entry in the help file, so you don't have to go looking around on the UDN to find it. This shows you how you can set up Swarm to distribute out your building. Like if you're building a light system, you don't have to do it right here on just one computer. You can use multiple computers to get that done, which is very, very convenient and can really speed up the process. And it'll walk you through actually setting all that up. Next, we have the tip of the day, which you can just cycle through all these tips Take a look at them. You know, really, I would highly recommend you take a moment and just read through these. There's some really nice information buried in these. I think uh, every now and then I do come across one of these that I haven't read, though I don't cycle through them all because, it, to me, that's just kind of like ruining the surprise. And then uh, we have the About page, which at first glance, you might, oh, well, who would ever look at the About page? But really, aside from the really cool graphic, at the bottom it has your engine version, which can be important, as well as your change list, just so that you know exactly which version of UDK you're using. So that about wraps it up for the Help menu. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.